Um, but yeah, Bill Clinton talking about nothing getting done in Washington. We've been talking about uh, equal pay for women and this bill that is crashed on the rocks like every bill that's crashed on the rocks. It wouldn't be a bad idea for Republicans to come up with their version and then everybody uh, work it out in the middle. But that just never, it just doesn't happen these days in well, Washington. There, it is against the law to discriminate on grounds of gender. Know, but, but that uh, law is, yeah. is, is broken every day. I don't believe it. that's the case. A, I think women can assert their rights if they were discriminated against. B, if you look at the actual statistics that control for education and hours worked, women have about 97% of the salaries of men and younger women in their 20s and 30s have slightly higher salaries than men if you control for education level and hours of well, work. Well, that's because so, the young men are their... playing video games. Actually, well, there's, the yeah, actually, the real problem, on, if you actually to... talk to a serious economist about our workforce, the people who are really doing badly, and it's a terrible thing, are young men, especially young, less educated men, working class men in their 20s and 30s. Globalization hasn't helped them with the kinds of jobs that are produced. Uh, they are, you know, they have very social problems, <laughs> much, more, much more than women. Yes, I mean, that's a fact. Do. That's a well, fact. Bring... So the, the notion that the war on women or pay discrimination against women is in the top 20 of problems in the United States is frankly ridiculous. I say that as someone who's a big fan of women. I was here on the show Tuesday and I told Joe that it was a terrible show because you weren't here. So I'm very much... I, now I'm desperately trying to climb out of my hole here. And, and, no, it's not a hole. No, there's some really, really legitimate points that you made that there's some that I disagree with and I would like to okay. hash those out because I think the fact that it's illegal to discriminate means nothing for women in the work who are paid less than their male counterparts. And I think the numbers that are out there, from my personal experience and from the testimonials I've gotten from people and the aftermath of writing my book about this, are that the numbers are far worse. They're Lily Ledbetter's numbers. Women are getting paid half of what their male counterparts make. And you know why? Because companies can do that. And because that law can be broken well, and nobody knows about it. And then if a woman does know about it, Bill, is well, she two, really going to sue? Well, two points. First of all, it's Republican Kelly Ayotte and other, I think others have introduced a Republican alternative to try to straighten the law in the ways that you might think are necessary. Uh -huh. But didn't, didn't, wasn't the first law that President Obama signed, mm -hmm. the Lilly Ledbetter Act, yes. didn't they deal with this when they had a Democratic Congress? I, I think they did. When they, they had a Democratic they, Congress? Was a wasn't that supposed to solve that? And so why suddenly in 2014, when the Obama administration is floundering, when they're desperately trying to appeal to their base and rile up grievances, they decided to go back to this issue. They, they passed the legislation they thought was necessary in 2009, 2010. I'd like to see the president explain, or some other Democratic leader explain, exactly what has changed that requires additional legislation. But look, so I, I, I don't like, I mean, if you want an example of a war on women, well, first of all, I think the good news is that people don't think that way anymore. So, Ayan Hirsi Ali, a really wonderful woman, mm -hmm. African-American, I mean, literally an African-American, came from Africa here, uh, human rights crusader, women's rights crusader, crusader for girls, especially around the world, was just just had her honorary degree that she had been offered from Brandeis University revoked yesterday under pressure from Islamist groups and from some left-wing faculty and students. Really a disgrace. A Why? disgraceful statement by the Brandeis president. Why is that? Because apparently she's controversial, and they pretend. Well, we didn't know that she was somewhat controversial, but she's been critical of aspects of Islam. Because she's been speaking up. For and why young is she critical across the globe? Yeah, why is she critical of Islam? Because it, guess what? A lot of Islamic countries don't treat women very well, and she was not treated well. And she's made that one of her uh, aspects of her human rights advocacy. So Brandeis caves into pressure, pulls the uh, award. I've been very critical of Brandeis for the last uh, 24 hours, but no one thinks it's because she's a woman. I don't think. Though I'm happy to say that Brandeis is engaged on a war. I'm on a war on this particularly admirable woman. Yeah, no, I'm going to um, bring up Barbara Mikulski and, and, and run that soundbite. Um, but just in response, I just think that uh, it, you, we could argue this, and, and right. you could make very salient points, and I could have. But wouldn't it be better for the Republicans and for the Democrats to actually put on the table things that address the problem that does exist, right? It well, I mean, does it, exist. Well, we agree I, with that. No, well, we agree that there might be individual problems. It does not exist in workplaces that I've had some effect on, and it doesn't exist in, for a lot of people I know, but it may exist elsewhere. If it does, people should devise targeted legislation to address it. But again, this, a lot of this is done at the state and federal level. A lot of states, that's what, New York is run by Democrats. Washington, D.C. is run by Democrats. Is, is, is there a problem? With, and they can pass whatever they want locally and, 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 and statewide to address this alleged discrimination. If there's some horrible alleged. problem, let them, well, let them pass it. Where, where is the legislation? Shouldn't, I mean, what is it? First of all, I don't think there are company heads out there who are saying, I'm going to make sure I discriminate against women. Right. It is there. For example, I know a major magazine editor who, uh, when this person was hired to take over the magazine, immediately looked at the salaries 
and there was complete discrepancy between men and women. And the first thing this person did was fix that. Well, good I don't for think, him good or her. Good for this right. person. Maybe the White House should take a look at its salaries, which I gather are more disparate. Again, are more disparate than your average this is, business. This is what the Republicans are doing, though. They are just firing back with criticism, firing back with some sort of response that it doesn't exist, firing back with why you should deal with it instead of let's work together. I mean, it does. Well, exist. Kelly, I, got, I think I believe has proposed amendments that would strengthen the current laws against discriminating against women. I want people to hear should from be her. hired. That would be great. Well, we'll have her on. And I'm going to make her case. Have her on. And have Joni Ernst on, the Republican, the I woman who Jenny. I who I hope wins the nomination in Iowa. Have you seen uh, an independent ad? What's yeah. that? We need to show you have the you independent. Of course, yes, excellent ad.